Here is the Nangguang model CN160 LED video light taken apart. I had this thing since around 2010. There is a date code from 2010 in there. And ever since I got it, it has had an issue where the battery indicator on the back uh, didn't work. It was very intermittent. Uh, sometimes it actually did work, but most of the times you would push the button and nothing would happen. And yes, they, for some reason, decided to use super bright red LEDs for the battery indicator, which I think is a stupid idea. So today I finally decided to take the thing apart, since I may or may not need this video light sometime soon. And what I did is I took out the circuit boards and I redid some of the solder joints. Most of them were surprisingly good. There were just a few issues. Um, the wires, all these wires attach straight to the circuit board and the original black wires that they used are very, very inflexible. So they easily break off the circuit board. And I think that's what has happened to uh, the connections going from the main board down here to the daughter board with the battery indicator lights and IC on it. So what I did is I replaced the wires. As you can see, I put on some new wires. Also, what appeared to be a good idea was resoldering the surface mount ICs. There is one right there. And there are another two on the bottom of this uh, main board. The solder joints of those did look kind of suspicious. So that's what I did and that fixed a problem. So the battery indicator now actually works again each time you try it. Another thing that I did was, well, not necessarily an improvement, but, uh, well, I guess a modification. I put in this little flip switch, as you can see, because one problem with this video light is that uh, if you have this uh, turned on and you want to turn it off quickly, or you have it turned off and you want to turn it on quickly, the switch, the original switch, on-off switch, is coupled with this dimmer feature. So if you want to go from off to full brightness, you'll first have to turn that knob, and that does take quite a while, and vice versa if you want to go from full brightness to off. So I put in this little flip switch, and as you can see, it is kind of a tight fit but it all ended up working out quite nicely. This is in series to uh, the positive lead coming from the battery terminal. And I put in another wire to go from the switch to the main board down there. And so this now has an instant on-off feature. The video light has been put back together. So quick demonstration of what I mean. This is how it was, unmodified. If you want to go from off to full brightness, click, that's the switch, and now the dimmer, and there is full brightness. If you want to go back to off, first you've got to dim it all the way down, and then comes the switch, which can be quite annoying. So now, turn it on to full brightness, and then just use the flip switch. Bam. Instant. To reduce the risk of the flip switch getting activated accidentally, like when the video light is stored away in the camera bag, I cut off about half of the switch shaft using the Dremel tool. So, as you can see, it now just barely sticks out over the edge of the video light. Flip this to the on position. I can demonstrate the now functional battery indicator. Yes, as I said, super bright red LEDs 
are just not a very good choice for this. So now there is one thing left to do, something mechanical. As you can see, this uh, accessory shoe mount is kind of broken. There is enough of it left right here so that it won't fall out of the accessory shoe, but obviously it's not very stable, so we'll have to uh, do something about this eventually. Thank you for watching.